Isaac's eyes really do look like he's looking into the camera the entire time. Welcome back to the series of editing video using AI platforms. We've done three, we're on our fourth. Our fourth is V.io. This platform claims to be able to do a lot, but I'm here for one very specific tool, correcting people's eye lines. I have a lot of people that sent in their video clips. Thank you so much for letting me use uh, your beautiful faces for these examples. Let's dive straight in to see if we can actually make this work. Okay, we're uploading our first test clip. Around 35 seconds to correct for 18 seconds of footage. Okay, you can tell that it's helping. You can tell that it is trying to make it look towards the camera, but it is by no means perfect. Towards the middle, it actually changes their eye color to be like a blue hazily color, and that feels a little creepy and weird. This clip is 30 seconds, and it only took eight seconds to process. This is a quick test video. The first one, I would have said like six out of 10 or something. I feel like this is like an eight out of 10. There are a couple moments where the eyes are doing weird movements. It's like, I don't know how human that is. Overall, you know, if this was like on Instagram Reel or something, you wouldn't really notice. This is pretty good. This clip has multiple nuances to it where the glasses are coming on, they're coming off. I'm not super impressed. Specifically, when the glasses come off, there's just that glitchy moment over on this eye specifically that just looks super bad. It doesn't really know what to do. The AI isn't really sure where to put the eyes. But overall, yeah, not, not super impressed with this one either. I'm now realizing that 11 tests is a lot of tests. <laughs> Okay, this clip's actually really interesting because the eyes are pretty consistently fixed, but it feels like the eyes are looking just above the camera pretty consistently versus right at the camera. And I don't know if that makes it better, you know? Objectively, the AI is correcting their eye line to look at the camera, but also objectively, it's creepy as all get out. I mean, when you turn it on and turn it off, we're looking at real human eyes and like, oh wow, those are not their eyes whatsoever. Thank you, Isaac, for sending me this clip. I didn't even think about it. Like, what would you do if you had two sets of eyes in the video? No one thinks that Aragorn is weak for relying on his friends. And it does not look like it did anything for Aragorn's eyes. Interestingly enough, this is like the best clip. Like, Isaac's eyes really do look like he's looking into the camera the entire time. That's impressive. This is the best one by far. If all of them looked this good, I would like have two thumbs way up right now. It's doing a lot to change the eye direction for sure. But again, that's like not their eyes. Like there's no shine on it. It just doesn't look accurate. Don't love it at all. Hey there, Jacob. Claude here reporting from New York. Okay, so this one is going to be difficult. There's a lot of movement. There's change of uh, locations. And then the, the face isn't super big in the frame. So I don't even know how much we'll be able to see it. Oh, wow. Okay. It's all, it, yeah, it's, it's fixing the eyes, even though the eyes are fairly small in the frame. Okay. Interesting. Ah, huh? you can see eye movement there. You can see how it's trying to correct for sure. Interesting. It's a zoom call. The video quality is a bit lower because it's going through that webcam and it's getting compressed. I think the effect's kind of hiding behind that lower level of compression and whatnot. So it's actually kind of successful here. This is actually a really good use case. The final and debatably most important use of this AI is does it work on dog eyes? I'm ready to be creeped out. It, it shouldn't, it doesn't advertise that it works on dog eyes. I just wanna know if it does. Okay, I don't think it's doing. Yeah, it's not even identifying his eyes as eyes. I wanted to be really creeped out. I wanted Rusty to get human eyes all of a sudden. Review time. Ease of use, actually really easy. I'd give it like, I'd probably give it a five because you're just opening up a little project, dropping in your clip, hitting the eye contact tool. Speed, I'd give it like a four. I'm just thinking of like, if I had to correct 10 minutes worth of footage, then it really starts to add up. Quality, honestly, kind of let down. I was very excited by how good this could have been, but there were some clips that just like, the eye color was changed, the direction didn't really look right. It actually just physically changed their eyes. But then there were a couple that were actually pretty dang good. Honestly, I'm, I need to give it like a two and a half 
Like it's not absolutely terrible, but it's definitely not something that I would say, hey y'all, go buy it. This is gonna change your life. Will I use it again? I do think I'll try using it again. It's gonna be three years down the road. I'm gonna think, oh man, their eyes just kept looking to the side. How do I fix that? Oh yeah, I have a tool that might do it. And hopefully three years from now, it's like much, much better. So I give it like a four. And price, there is a start for free option, but I wasn't able to test the eye contact effect with that. So a little underwhelming. You have to come over here to the pro version, to the $38 a month to actually be able to try it. You know, this is not a tool that blew my mind away. Um, I would not necessarily advise you to get it. You know, I'm probably going to cancel my membership after I finish making this video, 38 bucks. Was it worth it? Eh. But if you're making a 30, 40, $50,000 video for a corporate client and you need someone's eyes to stay tuned in to the camera, $38 is nothing. Like I will subscribe to a platform just to be able to see if I can change it. Um, so 38 bucks might be worth it to test for you. And obviously this platform does many other things, but I just didn't want to dive into all those things. I just wanted to know if I could correct the eyes. And honestly, not really. Thank you to my very kind Instagram community that submitted videos of them with their eyes looking in different directions. I super appreciate you. This is video four of 12. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with a friend. I'd love to see how this technology advances in a year or two, if it can actually correct eye vision and like do it pretty accurately. I'll pay money. Uh, like I'll be one of the first people. It's a very helpful tool. It's just not quite there yet. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe. Have a great rest of your week.